friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe fecumal's vacation of this very soft cataract this is a totally unedited recording this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus at around 135 degree this cholestic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber and it has been applied over the corneal epithelium this improves visibility this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and now this is capsular axis with the help of uh, utrita forceps i usually go anti-clockwise remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and complete the axis at this time the anterior lip of the main wound is lifted up and this causes a less or minimal leakage of viscoelastic substance hydrodissection is done the nucleus is depressed and the nucleus is rotated visco is again injected into the anterior chamber this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber it goes bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then with the help of the left hand the handpiece is rotated bevel is up now towards the corneal endothelium now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus the nucleus is held very firmly and it is chopped the nucleus is rotated it is chopped at another place and now the other hemineucleus is also chopped in this way the nucleus is divided into four fragments and then each free nuclear fragment is emulsified if necessary it is subdivided into two smaller pieces this is the third nuclear fragment it is emulsified ultrasonic energy used in this case is 50 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury this is Oatly Cataract 3 and now visco 2 percent HPMC is injected again this maintains the anterior chamber when a simco is used through the main wound if we don't use this the antechamber tends to be shallow but if visco is injected the anterior chamber remains stable for quite some time as long as there is some visco in the anterior chamber and at this time care is taken to lift off the anterior leaf of the main wound and this causes less leakage of fluid PSS through the main wound so most of the cortex has been removed and now the cortex at 10 o'clock is being removed through the side port at 2 o'clock and it is done and now this is hydro polish hydro polish means the irrigating fluid is directed towards the corneal towards the posterior capsule and whatever cells lens epithelial cells are sticking to the posterior capsule gets dislodged and the posterior capsule gets nicely polished this is a totally unedited recording and this is hydro implantation the antechamber is kept formed by the irrigating proof and in this case this is a monofocal single piece intraocular lens it is being implanted in the capsular bag and now the lens is dialed by the irrigating proof itself and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin now the single side port in this case is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this step wound and now this is the final 
lavage of the anterior chamber. A gentle stream of BSAs is directed towards the corneal endothelium and whatever viscous sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out at this time. So we are towards the end of the surgery. This is how the anterior is formed and few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea. Integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great uh, surgical competence. A routine case like this should not take more than 6 minutes. If it takes more than 6 minutes, it means we are spending a lot of time inside the eye and that is not good for the corneal endothelium.